Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. In the middle of filming this video, President Trump tweets that he's halting negotiations on another stimulus package until after the election. Typical art of the deal. I got this when I was 17 years old. The bookmark is like it's ridiculously torn apart. The strategy, I'll talk a little bit about this later. But um, yeah, yeah, there's 500 people working on this stimulus bill. So it's not like one guy can tweet and stop it. Well, I'd love to share my detailed thoughts on the topic, all in detail, but I'm convinced that the stimulus talks are still somewhat going on, not completely over, and truly believe that this is just another negotiating tactic, a brilliant one, and I'll tell you why. Everyone knows just how badly we need another stimulus check and a stimulus package with the extended enhanced unemployment benefits. So I'm hoping and I'm thinking that this is just another roadblock in a route towards a new stimulus bill. There's no way they can't pass the stimulus bill. Obviously tomorrow I'll be able to offer more thoughts about everything there as we digest this and more things get released and what really happens we can see with our own eyes. But please try to stay calm, relax, we're going to get through this together. Yeah, not, I don't think a good move for his, his election campaign, though, i got to tell you. With that being said, there, here's your unemployment update for Tuesday, October 6, 2020. With that being said, here's your unemployment update for Tuesday, October 6, 2020, going into the fourth quarter. Find out which group of Americans are spending less and having more difficult time finding employment. Where talks currently stand in the extended enhanced unemployment benefits in the ongoing stimulus negotiations it has not stopped no matter what a tweet says and a new state paying $300 weekly LWA unemployment benefits those great funds and also which ones are still waiting after this For the best news and information on how to master your money, dominate your money, business and life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, when you get all these articles, which are awesome, and we compile it and give you the best stuff, if you subscribe, like, and comment, not only do you get to see our stuff, but in addition, you could win $1,000. We're giving $1,000 when we hit 100,000 subscribers to a random comment. Subscribe, like, comment. That's it. Comment on every video. That way you up your chances. Also, be sure to grab your stock, your Weeble stock. You open up account for 100 bucks, you can get a stock up to $1,400, which is awesome, just for opening up an account. But first, a recent report shows that teens across the country are spending less and are unemployed at a higher rate than any other group of Americans. Yes, teens are having the toughest time. According to Piper Jaffers, quote, taking stock with teens report, teenagers on average have spent $2,150, which is 9% from last year, right? That's it. Even worse, the report shows that just 33% of teens explained that they have a part-time job, which is down 37% from the spring of 2020 and another 35% compared to the fall of 2019, like last year. Plus, 23% of teens surveys stated that they have not been able to look for a job due to the thing out there. It's like doors are closed, right? How do you apply for a job if nobody opens a door and no one's home, no one's at the business? How do you apply for a job? Hopefully these teens will be able to find employment soon as the market is a mess to say the least at the current moment. So much displacement in the market, right? Where the, it's like they moved the target completely. They moved our cheese. Now we got to go down different routes to get it. Meanwhile, talks are currently in the air with Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin following Trump's recent tweets on another stimulus package with the extended enhanced unemployment benefits likely to include, be included in the phase four disaster relief bill. The other thing, they were kind of done for the day anyway. So him tweeting just means they get to go home today. Both the $1.6 trillion proposal from the White House and the $2.2 trillion stimulus bill from the House of Representatives contain enhanced unemployment benefits, but they differ in a couple of different ways. The White House bill 
would offer 400, 400 bucks, 400,000, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, just 400,000. $400 a week until the end of December, while the Democrat stimulus package would provide 600 a week, weekly unemployment benefits through January 2021. So we get an extra month. Michelle Evermore, a senior policy analyst at the National Employment Law Projects, believes, quote, I think there's tremendous pressure on both sides to pass something. Nobody wants to go home and campaign on, oh, we didn't get anything done. Except now, Trump's kind of like, they can blame it on Trump. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new campaign. Blame it on Trump, right? Everything's going to be blame it on Now the stimulus, blame it on Trump. I completely agree and think that we need to pass another stimulus package to help the millions of Americans struggling to find employment and in need of a disaster relief fund as soon as possible. You know, remember, part of um, Trump's strategy, one of his strategies is to get attention. Say something outrageous. Say something, say something that will shock people. And I think what he's done, just like if you're at a car dealership and let's say you're negotiating with somebody and then you start walking out the door and then the salesperson chases you and all of a sudden that car that was, I don't know, $30,000 is somehow magically worth $27,000. What changed because you were walking out? Well, to me, this is Trump's walkout, right? Slam, drop the mic so that people, you know, Pelosi will come off of her $2.2 trillion package and they can just push through the 1.6, right? And also it gets him much needed attention because nobody's paying attention to the guy. You just don't hear about news about Trump. Trump's not in the news. You can't find him anywhere. Like, you don't even know what's going on, right? You have no idea what the guy's doing. I mean, you know, he catches a virus and then you don't hear about him because he's in quarantine. Oh, wait, no, he's putting out videos. He's at the, he's coming out in the, the game. He's on, oh my God. At any rate, finally, a brand new state is paying these residents $300 weekly LWA and unemployment benefits. And I'm hearing that they're offered the payments in the lump sum of $1,800, which I think is Absolutely. This is a wonderful state, too. The people here are special. Not that everybody isn't special, but this state is, is awesome. Congratulations to my viewers in drumroll. Why does it have to be like that? You should just get the money. Nebraska. We've, uh, we've heard from y'all in the comments and also from Nebraska that you started getting your payments, hitting your bank account, and all $1,800, you corn husker state. Yes, you got it. Congratulations. Now it leaves just six states that are still sitting around wondering, well, what about us? Alaska, Kansas, Nevada, New Jersey, Virginia, Wisconsin. Without these $300 LWA benefits, are we serious? Like, I just don't get it why the delay is just ridiculous, but we're still waiting, still gonna come, but Nebraska, congratulations. I know it seems like this net that it's just never common for you guys but any day now we should see the lump sum of that eighteen hundred dollars deposited into your account which would be fabulous remember that you still get all this coverage through the end of the year so just because you didn't get the bump you should still be receiving your regular payments if you still haven't applied for unemployment benefits in your state don't miss out on applying for these critical unemployment funds especially since if we don't pass the stimulus bill the states could run out of money so you want to get in as soon as possible, simply go to your state, look at the website, find out about the unemployment insurance. If you've been working, tell them about your job. If you haven't, you had some other type of income, go to the PUA side, provide them with your employment history or your lack thereof. Explain that you can't go to work due to the virus thing out there and you could receive a backdated check of $10,000 in your account. Remember, PWA, PUA, PWA, PUA is for you, right? So people that are not necessarily part of the regular crowd that's paid into unemployment. So if you're a gig worker, you're self-employed, an independent contractor, 1099 worker, you got a side hustle or some part-time gig, freelance, whatever, lemonade stand, you can claim these benefits through the PUA, which is created for you. Sometimes some states are separate websites, so go there. These are amazing government benefits that won't be available for long, so don't miss out on getting your application into the state's unemployment system before the money runs out. If you don't put it in and you don't get it and they close the program down, you're not gonna get it. So I would definitely get it. 
Did that make sense? I think it did. Check with your state's unemployment and PUA guidelines. Be honest with them. Tell the truth. Otherwise, you'll get caught up in the bureaucracy, which is horrible. We see so many people in the comments that were questioned something that was kind of obvious, right? You weren't working here. You were on a regular freelance job. You weren't paying into unemployment, and you said you had a job, and now they're looking for one that you don't have. So don't confuse the system. Just be honest, and the money will hit your bank account within days of approval in many states. So remember, we get, every, we get money through the end of the year. So for most states, that should be the case. And then these boosts are just bonuses. So, and I think you need to plan for the worst, like the money not coming, um, and hope for the best. So reset your stuff, uh, cancel little subscriptions you might have, anything that you can budget in the meantime. So when the money comes in, it'll be a boost because they're gonna backdate it. Every one of these bills have it backdated all the way to the 6th of September, which was when the LWA is out. So, you know, um, that little gap is covered. So make sure that you get it in there because it could be a nice extra bonus that I hope everyone gets. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you.